Hey guys, let's see what Tox plays. Today, Tox plays Hearthstone and gets into a Tavern Brawl. Hey guys, Tox Farways here, ready for Tavern Brawl number 127. And at the end, I've got a gold pack to open up. So, uh, and hopefully also a basic pack from here. Or a classic pack. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! We get to unlock a Kobolds and Catacombs pack for this week's Brawl. Treasure in the Catacombs! It looks like Marin the Fox is here. The Catacombs are so close, you can taste them. Race with your opponent to complete the quest, giving both players a chance at awesome treasure. Interesting. Um, I have a quest for Paladin, so I guess I'll go Paladin. Oh, if it's a quest, does that mean... I don't think it means I'm going to be getting the Paladin quest. I think it said that we get our own quests. Or like, a, it sounds like a different quest for treasure. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have picked Paladin, because I don't think... Oh, what's the... Galvadon? Is that the Paladin um, quest reward? Okay. It does look like I'm Grime Street, though, and that's not particularly good either. I guess I'll keep the Smuggler because he's a three cost. I want to make sure I get something on the lower end, and I don't know what. Co okay. Oh, that's not a good one drop. And that's not a good six drop. <laughs> Whoever completes their quest first will get a head start on getting the treasure. Seven. Quest. Seven minions are played by any player. Reward. Master chests for all. Uh, so this is the chest from Marin, but I guess whoever completes it, their chest will pop up first, or the opponent's chest will pop up first, so they get to attack it sooner, I guess? I don't know. It's interesting. But I don't have the Paladin quest, so that's fine. Doesn't seem like that much of a head start, though. But, I don't know. Okay. Ooh, I like Dino Size. I can turn one of the zero eights to a ten ten. I actually kind of hope. Well, no, I don't know. Okay, I'll play this next. Come on. Okay. What? They fell off a truck. All right. I just realized, for some reason, I was thinking this is one of the uh, tri-class cards that lets you look or discover a card from the different uh, classes in that gang, and that's not it at all. Um, I think... I'm going to buff this up and bring both of these guys out. Um, probably could have waited on buffing this, but... He can't kill it with just this. I don't know. And I guess it gets him to use removal. I've got a 5-6. I don't have a 7, but I have two 8s. And we are still at... Oh, we're at three. Okay. Because I played one, he played one, and I just... Where is... Did I play... Oh, he played... Uh, that's right, Silverback. Patriarch. Okay. Interesting. He left him alive. Not what I was expecting. Now, I could... Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um So I guess I could have done that and then also played this because I would have drawn this if you're attacking okay, that's right. He wants to be buffed. Um 
turn six, and then seven I can do four, five, six, seven, depend if I don't draw anything better. Freezing character damaged by this minion. Okay, so I can trade and hammer of wrath. Or I could trade everything in and play Wind Fury Harpy. Maybe I'll do that. Because Wind Fury Harpy is only going to be. It's going to be best if it's got nothing on the board to uh, contend with. If he's got removal, okay, he's got removal. But if he doesn't, especially if he had that freezing taunt, that's not going to be very good. So, Okay. Oh! Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm going to play this. I'm assuming this thing's going to pop up. Really? It's on this side? Oh, no. Okay. Oh! Oh, interesting. I didn't expect it to only have four health. I guess that's the uh, advantage they were talking about. Okay, he'll get stealth again. And I've got treasure. Draw three cards. It costs zero. Okay. That's nice. So I can give this one attack. It's sleeping still. I don't know what removal he has, so I don't want to buff it, but next turn I can buff it. If it's still alive. Um. Oh! The quest comes back! Oh! Whoops. Maybe I was taking too long. Or maybe that was Don Hancho. Okay, pack earned. Cool. This is kind of a cool brawl. Um, it's new, which is cool. It's playing off of Marin, but you don't actually have Marin in your deck. It's just a quest, and uh, which means that you're not paying 8 mana and then having to deal 8 damage. You still have to do damage, but it's... a uh, essentially a free, because the quest just starts in play, so it's a free Marin treasure. Um, so I can't open the pack that I got today, but I can open this golden pack. Let's see if I get anything special here. Double golden epic. That's pretty nice. Golden Doomhammer. And golden Cabal Shadow Priest. Cool. All right. That's a lot of dust. I have all these cards already. Um, every once in a while, I waver between wanting to start keeping goldens, but they're worth so much dust. I'd rather just increase my collection rather than having golden cards. So I'll probably dust this. I think about it a little more. Um, so I'm not going to dust them now. But um, actually, let me see. Um, let's look up new. Or actually extra. Let's see if all of those were extras. Yeah, so I've got an extra one here. Yeah, they're all extras. Wasn't sure if there was something like Doomhammer. No, Doomhammer never got nerfed. It was uh, the... or did it? Was it four? No, it was the um, plus three attack that got nerfed. Anyway, I might, I might start keeping golden cards. I don't know. Anyway, regardless, I think that's a pretty cool tavern brawl. Uh, obviously that that match didn't go too long, but uh, I have a feeling a lot of people might concede after someone gets treasure and uses it because that is a pretty big advantage. I got three free minions. Um, it probably would have made sense just to flood the board. He could have had some uh, board clear, but um, without it, you know, I just I would have had a huge advantage. It would have been hard for him to come back from. So. Plus, things like Don Honcho were actually buffing my hands. I would have had Ragnaros next turn. Um, so, I think it's definitely a race to see who can get the chest first. I didn't realize that the chest was going to spawn on both sides with less health. I, I didn't realize mine was going to, or his was going to have less health for me to attack. So that that is a nice advantage. Um, so, yeah, I think it's pretty cool to have him brawl. Uh, 
and uh, it's definitely OP if you get it, but both both players are getting it, uh, which I think really takes not the randomness out, although the decks are random, and that, that's something, but um, I guess they're not random, actually. They're the, uh, it looked like they were, um, I don't know what Paladin's uh, recipe, do I have a deck slot open? I don't. Um, is there anything here I want to destroy? Jade Jerk is an old deck that's not played. Um, Shields of the Light, Primordial Blessings, I don't think any of these are the Grime Street. So, Grime Street might be an older, or maybe they made special decks, but I think it was the, maybe the the Grime Street recipe from before. Um, anyway, um, you don't make your deck, but I, I like that the quest works from both players playing minions, um, because there's a little more tactics or strategy you have to think out there because uh, you don't know how many minions your opponent can necessarily play in a turn so you want to be the last one to play a minion but you also want to have a board so that you can destroy the chest so if you're not playing minions and then you play the last minion it doesn't help you because then you can't attack the chest because you just played the only minion on your board but if so you want to build a board but you also want to be the first um, to you want to be the last person or you want to be the first person to play the last minion uh, for the, to unlock the quest. So uh, there's some some strategy there. That's interesting. Um, it was good. I liked it, uh, and I'm glad that it brought us a new Tavern Brawl. Uh, so yeah, and you get a Kobolds and Catacombs pack. So I definitely suggest trying it out and getting one of those packs. Um, the expansion is supposed to release. Uh, I think the packs say mid December. Yeah, available mid December. Uh, but most people are expecting it to be uh, early December because then it's going to be the holidays and Blizzard staff's going to probably not be around as much. Uh, so they're going to want to make sure it's released and then they can uh, fix any issues that might arise in the first week or two um, b before the holidays. Also, uh, I guess there's a tournament or something uh, on the 5th, or th not the 5th, uh, December 9th, I think, or 10th or something. I don't know. Um, and they're going to be using Kobolds and Catacombs, I think. So people are are guessing that the expansion is going to be released already by then. So um, I think first week of December is the is what people are guessing. First week of December, we're going to have Kobolds and Catacombs, which is not far at all. We've got uh, basically, yeah, I guess three weeks. So that's a little bit, but it's uh, we got Thanksgiving in between there and stuff if you're in the U.S. Um, Anyway, sorry, I've been rambling for a while. Uh, I think this is a cool dive ball. You should go check it out. Go get your Kobolds and Catacombs pack, and uh, I'll see you next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, for watching. Talks out. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching this week's Tavern Brawl. If you want to check out my Tavern Brawl playlist, you can do so up above. If you want to check out the previous brawl, you can do so on the left, and I'd love it if you subscribed. As always, feel free to like, dislike, and or comment, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching. Talks out.